Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary. Leonard Ravenhill. Date of birth 1861907. Date of death 27/11/1994. Native place Yorkshire. Country England. Vision area America, Britain. Born in England and Leonard accepted Christ when he was 15 at the age of 20 while working as a tailor he realized god's call to ministry he joined the cliff college in england where he was trained for ministry by samuel chadwick his steep prayer life zeal for evangelization and powerful sermons drew many people to christ in early days he joined the international holiness mission and traveled on foot preaching the gospel and establishing churches across England his revival meetings attracted large crowds many being sanctified and committing themselves to christian ministry and foreign missions during the grim times of the world war 2 his evangelistic meetings in britain brought hope to people's lives later in 1958 after leonard felt a leading from god He moved to America. There he tirelessly traveled across the United States conducting tent revival meetings and gospel campaigns. Leonard was a man of God who sought the God's will in everything he did. He had an incredible personal discipline and prayed for 8 hours a day. He had an insatiable appetite for the word of God and studied at 6 hours a day. Before he ever stood on the pulpit he stood before God seeking his guidance he preached with a passion for revival in churches and longed to see God moving mightily among his people Leonard has also authored several books urging the church towards revival he once said no man is greater than his prayer life the pastor who is not praying is playing the people were not praying or straying and if we had more sleepless nights in prayer there would be fewer souls to have a sleepless eternal night in hell according to him a vision without task makes a visionary a task without a vision is drudgery a vision with a task makes a missionary beloved how concerned are you about the revival in your church Lord make me a prayer warrior and an instrument of revival in the church and in the personal lives of many amen